President Obama says the decision to act now against radical Islamic extremists and conduct these airstrikes is all part of an effort to stop the terrorist group ISIS from ransacking the country. But when the lives of American citizens are at risk, we will take action. That's my responsibility as commander in chief. And when many thousands of innocent civilians are faced with the danger of being wiped out and we have the capacity to do something about it, we will take action. Well, tens of thousands of religious minorities have already been given an ultimatum by ISIS fighters, convert to their version of Islam or die. In danger, women and children, uh, such as uh, some of those you're going to see here and some of those you see right there. Um, they've been forced to escape to the mountains to avoid execution. But will U.S. airstrikes work and what could be the political consequences uh, here at home? Let's talk more with CNN political commentator and Democratic strategist Maria Cardona. We're also joined by Republican strategist and radio host Ben Ferguson. Ben, morning. Maria, thank morning. you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. So the first question here, I, we heard from the president, Maria, that he says, and I wrote it down, when many thousands of innocent civilians are faced with the danger being wiped out and we have the capacity to do something, we will take action. That is our responsibility as Americans. Where was that dedication to responsibility in Syria two or three years ago? Well, I think the big distinction that the president has been making ever since he announced these actions in Iraq is two things. Number one, where it existed the unique capability to do something right then and there, and that is exactly what we have now. And number two, a mandate to do something. The Iraqi government, the Iraqi people have asked for our help. So I think those two things are really distinguished what the president is doing now, as opposed to any other place in the world where we would love to do something immediately. We don't like to see genocide anywhere, but I think the American people are are a war-weary nation and they understand that we can't possibly be the global police at all times even though our hearts want us to we have to be very methodical about this we have to be very measured but we have to be bold when we can and that's exactly what this president is doing uh, Gloria Borger wrote we're all clear on what the president won't do we're still not sure about what he will do and maybe neither does he uh, how much yeah. confidence do you have in the president right now Ben? Not, not a lot. And the reason why is he always seems to be leading from behind on foreign policy issues. I mean, we knew exactly how brutal ISIS was because they were doing the same things they're doing now in Syria. They've been doing the same things they're doing now that we're responding to two and a half months ago in Iraq. And we saw them taking our military, you know, pieces of equipment we left behind and using them to then go in and slaughter people. And so the issue is, if you are ISIS, are you afraid of the United States America? And the answer is based on their actions, no, because we've already said what we won't do. And I think that's one of the terrible mistakes we're seeing. You see the president come out in his radio address saying, we're not gonna go to war. We're not gonna put troops on the ground. He's telling them all of the options of what we're not gonna do. You never tell your enemy that, but we will have airstrikes, but only under these circumstances. I don't want the president to give our playbook to this terrorist organization, which has now become the most well-funded, and everyone sees how successful they've been in the jihadi world, so they're coming to their aid to help. America has to be bold. We can't lead from behind, and when we do, it costs innocent people their lives like they are in Iraq right now with this genocide of anyone who refuses to become an Islamic extremist. Maria, I, I, you're shaking your head. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, I think what the president is doing is very bold. And number two, let's keep this in mind. What is going on in Iraq will not be solved militarily by the United States, no matter how much the Republican neocons want it to be. When we had 150,000 troops in Iraq, this was not solved. When we had 100,000, this was not solved. This will not be solved until a political solution is embraced in Iraq by the government creating a diverse and, uh, and, and multiple government that includes all of the sectors of society. That has started to happen. Part of the president's strategy is to make sure that the United States is ready to support those efforts and at the same time to make sure
danger, when American lives are in danger, and when se sectors of society are at the brink of being murdered and, and genocide, then that is when the president will act like he is doing now. It the, is what the, the American uh, the people idea. want. They don't want troops on the ground. They don't Maria. want an extended military okay, engagement. Okay, okay. And that's what the president well, is. They this. don't, they don't want troops on the ground, but, but one of the ISIS fighters told Vice News, we will raise the flag of Allah at the White House. Has the administration? Well, has the administration, that. though? And, and then, of course, you've got you've got President Obama um, back in January told the New Yorker, if a JV team puts on Lakers uniforms, that doesn't make them Kobe Bryant, referring to ISIS. Has the administration or the intelligence community in the U.S. been naive to the capabilities and the determination of ISIS? I don't, I don't think the I don't think the intelligence community has been naive. I think President Barack Obama has been naive because of his no. foreign policy, which is I don't want to be involved in any of these types of issues around the world, whether it be crime whether it be Ukraine, whether it be shooting down of innocent people out of the sky from Russian fighters. You have a president that has been obsessed with saying, I am not a war guy. But when you have a terrorist organization, you have to realize what you're dealing with here. And they're a well-funded organization now. And when they take over these assets and the towns are coming into, they have funding that Al-Qaeda could have only dreamed of. And when you have a terrorist organization that says they're willing to come after America any way they can, these guys are not using rhetoric. They're actually actually beheading children. Let's make that very clear. They're taking young, exactly innocent children. Let me finish this. You have young, innocent children that are being beheaded at the hands of a terrorist group that Al-Qaeda denounced as being too brutal. Al-Qaeda didn't even want to be yeah. affiliated with ISIS. And you have a president that's saying, here's everything I will not do, but I might drop a couple bombs. And as long as that's well, our foreign policy, we've got to they're going to continue let's, to kill these people. Not, let's, not let's, not, let's not underestimate what the American military can do with these if air, it's not with, being with the used, bombs and, it doesn't and matter. With these airstrikes. They are being used, Ben. That's exactly what the president Very announced he's going to be doing. All right. And so got a, he's uh, focused so on the goal. The goal is to prevent genocide and to prevent American, uh, our, our American government officials there from being murdered. That's exactly what he's doing. Maria it is Cardona, always such a good conversation, ben Ferguson, isn't it? And you know what? I really Thank wanted you. to get in there. We don't have time for it. We've been wrapped several times. Why Next is the time. president going to Martha's Vineyard two days after ordering uh, strikes there in Iraq? Unfortunately, we don't have time to dig that out. Maybe we'll get to it in the 10 o'clock hour of mm -hmm. newsroom. We, thank we, you both. Yes, thank you so much.